Sequential disharmony. This is an idea I've been thinking about, and it's specifically in regards to a movement's motor structure and what additional load does to that motor structure, how it influences the sequential harmony of that motor structure in relation to the specific motor structure. I know that sounds confusing, but let me explain. Let's start with a specific motor structure. That's our goal, our primary movement pattern. Let's say it's a single leg takeoff. You're gonna run, jump, and touch something that's up as high as you can. When you add weight to yourself, let's say in the form of a weight vest, there becomes a certain point where the weight becomes so heavy, the initial movement structure, that is the run and jump and touch something with just your body weight, is lost because the added weight changes the entire motor structure and because of that creates what i would call sequential or sequencing disharmony in terms of motor unit and motor coordination that single leg jump that you ran and jumped and touched before is no longer the same when you add load to it what's the significance of this well if i'm using the ladder to improve my skill that is the heavy loaded single leg jump if I add too much weight, there becomes a point in time where that motor structure is actually lost and I'm no longer teaching proper efficiency and movement patterns. That's okay because if you're using that movement pattern to overload maybe a specific aspect of the movement, say just the ability to resist vertical deformation like vertical stiffness upon ground contact, maybe it makes sense. But if it's the macro structure of the entire movement, it doesn't make sense. Now, let's extrapolate this into more common movements. Say we're doing a squat. A squat is not equal when loads change. What I mean by that is how you sequence your muscular firing when you do a 10-pound squat, let's say a 100-pound squat, or a 400-pound squat, seems to be very different. It almost seems like when the weight gets to about 75% of your one rep max and above, your motor structure, for the most part, is lost. And here's my example with that. Let's say I want to squat, but instead of just squatting, I want to jump with that weight. So it's the same squatting pattern, but it's a ballistic output, so I'm jumping. I might actually only be able to jump with, say, 75% of my one rep max. And for some reason, anecdotally and observationally, it seems like when it goes beyond that loaded structure pattern that your body can actually produce above that 75% of one rep max, the movement pattern itself changes so radically. That is the sequencing. You'll notice this in terms of people, for example, sticking with the squat. You'll notice it with people shooting their hips up or maybe increasing their flexion or torso angle. The movement no longer becomes the same movement that occurs with 10 pounds. And what does 10 pounds overload versus the 400 pounds overload? Well, it could be that with a 400 pound overload, you're actually offloading some of the musculature that would be, say, limited otherwise, and you're onloading the strongest musculature. So typically a larger torso lean or more of that traditional powerlifting looking squat. So just think about that. Next time you try some movements, consider this concept. Consider the idea of sequential disharmony. And what it might mean in regards to your performance selection of movements, exercises, and loading patterns. Again, it's not to say going heavy is bad or going with lots of weight is bad, but it actually might change the motor pattern for better or for worse. It might be for better because it might be overloading the contractile properties of specific tissues more so, but it might be for worse if it's designed to maybe overload other specific aspects of tissue movement efficiency, or motor unit coordination. Think about that. I wanted to share it with you all here to make sure I don't lose this thought and throw it out into the YouTube sphere for everyone to judge and listen and think about. I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. and Thanks.